Hi everyone, welcome back to Study Planet, your one-stop guide for internship tasks and learning concepts. Before I start today's video, I just want to be honest with you. When I began this internship series, my goal was to upload both the explanation and submission videos for each task. But due to some other work, I could only post the task for submission video at that time. And so sorry for the delay. This video is for those who really want to understand the full concept behind task 4 and not just how to submit but why we are doing it and what we can learn from it. If you have already submitted task 4 and don't want, want to watch the explanation that's completely okay but if you are here to learn and complete the internship with some real knowledge then please watch this video till the end and I will explain each slide clearly and I hope it helps you and at the end of the video I will also show you what happens after completing task 4 and like how to click on the finish line and how the resume snippet appears and how to share your certificate on LinkedIn and what I personally did after completing this internship and let's get started. Task 4 about implementing an AI driven collection strategy and we will see now slide 1. Now we will quickly recollect the task 1, task 2, task 3 to reconnect with task 4. Okay, now in task 1 we started by understanding the data set and we explored the data and checked for missing values and it got basic idea of what we are dealing with. And in task 2 we went a step deeper and we used the data to find patterns in the data set and build predictive insights. This gives us a clear idea of which customers are at high risk for missing payments. In task 3, we took those insights and created an actionable business report. That report helped us translate technical data into recommendations and that a business team can understand and use it for further. In now task 4, our main goal is different. We are not just writing a report. We are presenting everything we have done till now and in the form of a PowerPoint presentation. In this presentation, we will explain how we use an AI powered system and how to design an AI driven collection strategy and what is the role of agentic AI in automating financial decisions and most importantly how to ensure compliance and transparency and fairness when using AI in financial services. We will also show how our AI insights match with financial industry regulations and how they can actually help in real world collections team make better decisions and so in short task 4 is about communicating everything we have done in a clear and professional way like presenting it to your it to your manager or stakeholders now we will see slide by slide in task 4 in first slide task overview this task is about building an ai powered system that automates how a company collects payments from customers but in a responsible and smart way and you will learn in this task how to design an autonomous AI system and what is agentic AI and why it matters and how to keep the system fair, transparent and legally compliant. In task 3, we already gave a report highlighting which customers are at high risk of not paying their dues and also suggested some solutions but now Gallium wants to automate that process that means instead of doing everything manually, they want to use AI, artificial intelligence to automatically take actions based on the risk. Chaitra says we have identified the risky customers and now we need, need a system that can act on it in a real time. So our task in task 4 is to prepare a PowerPoint presentation that explains how to build a smart AI powered collection system and this system should be autonomous it can take decision on its own and adaptable it can learn from new data and improve and responsible it follows rules and treats customer fairly and also we include some important points how the system will take actions based on the model output for example based on the output it take right decisions or wrong decisions we have to verify continuously and where human control is still needed and how it will improve over time and what safety checks are there to make sure it's a fair and legal and explainable. We have to check all this and Chaitra finally reminds us 
this is not just automation it's about creating a trustworthy and ethical system that actually helps the businesses and the customers so this pre this presentation will play a big role in showing how ai can improve collections and how we can design it responsibly how to design an ai powered debit management system autonomous let's imagine something powerful what if there was a smart system that could look at customer data and understand who might miss a payment and immediately take the actions right like sending a gentle reminder or offering help all on its own that's what task for is all about designing an ai powered autonomous debit management system this this system doesn't wait for humans to decide it uses agentic ai which means the ai can think learn and act by itself here's what it does and it reads the risk score we built in task 2 and picks the right step like reminding a customer or offering support and sends messages at the best time based on behavior now we will see how ai powered debit management system works step by step data pipeline it collects real time data like payment history credit score and behavior step 2 decision engine uses rules and machine learning to decide what to do next and action layer it is the third step execute the action like sms sending an email call or even offer adjustments to the customer and fourth step learning loop it tracks the result and keep getting better based on the results but ai alone isn't enough we also add human oversight for complex cases and decisions that need empathy and mostly most importantly we need guardrails to make sure the system is fair explainable safe and follows all rules in short this isn't just about automation it's about building a smart ethical system that helps the company act faster and helps customers feel supported not preserved and that's the future of collections responsible data driven and human centric slide 4 about understanding the role of agentic ai in financial decision making agentic ai means the system can think and decide on its own like a smart assistant not just follow fixed steps it helps in debit collections by choosing the right action for each customer based on their current situation and it can change the plan if something isn't working like switching from reminders to support and it understand patterns and makes fair decisions and keeps learning to improve results this makes the system more powerful and human like and effective in managing loans and customer trust strategies for ensuring compliance transparency and fairness in ai driven financial services in finance ai must be fair clear and legal why it's important ai can make fast decisions but if not managed properly it may become biased unclear or even unfair so he have provided some key strategies explainability always explain why a decision was made even if the model is complex and second one bias checking test ai regularly to ensure it treats all groups fairly or not and third one human oversight let humans handle high impact or unclear cases and fourth one follow some rules make sure the system aligns with financial laws and keeps audit records or not and customer clarity this is for fifth step let customers understand decisions and give them the option to respond for example like giving feedback options like why regulatory alignment matters in ai finance means when we use ai in financial services like banks loans collections it must follow legal rules and regulations made by governments and authorities if ai system don't follow these rules it can lead to penalties or fines and legal problems loss of customer trust and reputation so regulatory alignment means designing ai system that treat all customers fairly use personal data carefully and responsibly give clear explainable decisions not black box answers maintain records to show how and why decisions were made in this slide they mentioned some financial regulation laws equal credit opportunity act in us and general data protection regulation in uk 
and Financial Conduct Authority in UK and Fair Credit Reporting Act in US. Practical strategies for aligning with financial regulations. Let's understand how to make sure our AI system follows all financial rules and stays safe and fair. St there is some steps here. Understand the AI decisions. First step, we should know how the AI takes input and gives output. For example, why did the customer get rejected loan? We must be explained to customer or manager and add safety checks. Let the system send special or risky cases to human for review. This avoids mistakes and keeps things fair. Talk to legal team regularly and early. Don't wait till the end. Involve the legal and compliance teams when you are building the model. They will help you stay on the right track and keep notes and records. Write down what data you used and how the model works and what changes you made in your model. And this is useful when someone checks your work and keep checking your AI. Rules can change, so check and update your AI system regularly. This keeps it accurate and fair over time. That's it. If we follow these steps, our AI will be smart, safe and trusted in the finance and finance world. Here it is now real task. This task is all about converting our model and insights from task 2 and task 3 into high level concept and AI powered collection system. We need to design a PowerPoint presentation that acts like a real executive briefing. Here's what the slide should cover slide 1 and slide 2. Explain the system works, what inputs it takes and how decisions are made and actions it performs and how it learns over time. In slide 3, we have to include talk about the role of agentic AI, how it makes autonomous decisions, means self decisions, how it takes and where human involvement is still required. We have to mention this in slide 3. In slide 4, cover responsible AI like uh, fairness, transparency, explainability and complaints. In slide 5, we have to incl include explain the business impact and both in numbers like cost reduction and quality, like better customer experience. I have already uploaded the submission video. So this is just a quick concept overview. What happens after task four? Once you submit task four, click on finish line to complete your internship journey. You will see certificate download, resume snippet, interview tips, and there are also a quick quiz and short feedback form you need to complete before downloading your certificate. And here it is some final important steps. Tata Group Gen AI Power Data Analytics Completion Certificate here we are seeing. And add your certificate to your LinkedIn profile. Clicking on add certification to LinkedIn. It will redirect into LinkedIn and automatically post into LinkedIn. And share with your network. Another option also here there. By clicking on download, we can download our certificate. And copying this resume snippet and copy into your resumes internship sections and also here some skills are provided you can add the skills into linkedin that's it i hope this overview helps you understand what task 4 is about and how to complete your tata internship properly if you found this helpful please like share and subscribe to study planet and stay tuned for more internship updates and interview experiences